Hey guys, Lieutenant Curious here today. I'm here with Season 3, Episode 3 of the Serrano Minimox series. Now if you haven't checked out the first two episodes of this season, be sure to. It'll help you get a nice background of everything that has been going on. And this Minimox I thought turned out very, very cool. It is highly action-packed with, yes, that's right, 13 minifigures. I do believe that is quite crammed, actually very, very crammed with minifigures, but I do like the action-packed aspect of it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get into that awesome overhead shot. All right, so as you guys can see, once again, this mini mock is on a 32 by 32 base plate, and there are three levels to this mini mock. There is a low level that is not elevated at all, there is this level with quite a tall rock structure. It's actually six bricks tall. And then there is another rock structure. So there are actually three levels of this mini mock. That is another three bricks tall. You can see there is so much going on in this. The mock ton rebels allied with Tranto's spade and Dez. Also the new clone that they found in the last episode who is all healed up. He was shot, but he got some medicine, and he's mainly, for the most part, healed now. So now he's helping them out so they can fight the terrorists. And now they are full out attacking the terrorists as they found them once again. And you can already tell there is a lot going on, and it is just getting very action-packed. This whole series is very, getting very cool. So now let's get into, first off, this top layer. And what is going on? All right, so as you guys probably know, if you have seen season two, if you haven't, be sure to go check it out. Now in season two, at the end, we found out that Cranul, the leader of the terrorists, had Dez's, Dez is right here, Dez's wife and daughter held captive with them for the whole time. And when Dez, Dez assumed they were dead after they were, they randomly disappeared. So... This is Dez's wife, Maya Kanuan, and she had been with them for the whole time. And as the all of the Mokhtan rebels and the clones ran in here, they got the terrorists got very overwhelmed, and Braz, another terrorist, started running away and threw Maya down on the ground. So now Maya most likely will be not captive anymore and will be with Dez, her husband. So that'll be good. And we see over here with this terrain, once again is mainly up here a base color of green with some nice detail. There's a patch of olive green, some of that black and dark blue, which is basically just for Sereno that I added. There's a nice patch right there. And you can see all different types of pieces here. There are cheese slopes, one by two plates, one by one plates, all sorts of different colors. And there is some stem grass, both in olive green and green, spread out through here. There is a patch of mushrooms, four mushrooms to be exact. And there is this tree that I actually like a lot. It's very simple though. I will show you guys what is made up in this tree. It is simply um, dark bluish gray cylindrical one by one bricks stacked up and in between each one besides the first one has two stacked up are two to three olive green four by three leaves all the way to the top and then I have a cone at the top to top it off so yeah I think I thought that tree turned out quite nice it's a little different than what the type of tree that I used last time so yeah that's the top level I thought that turned out quite nice now I will get into this second level all right, so I thought the second level turned out very, very cool. We have a very open area over here with Trantos and Biffin Severin running in, which is another Mokhtan rebel. He got a rocket launcher at that underground 501st base that was overrun in the last episode. It was a very cool episode. Be sure to check it out. And we also have Spade up here, the other ARF trooper, running in to push Braz away. So they can recover Maya Kanuan from the terrorists, which will, which is awesome. And you can see down here, Biffin has shot his rocket launcher right here, which has launched the Duros T-1000 
terrorist into the air. His name is Mazrov, and he is actually very quite set up. He has a weapon in his hand and also a weapon on his backpack, and he is being flown into the air, probably land somewhere down here or in the tree. This is being completely launched up. I used a lot of fire pieces and a lot of trans orange in there, which turned out quite nice. You can see more of this terrain throughout here. Looks very cool. All right, so now I will show you guys real quick what's happening over here, which is very, very important. Now you can see Cranul, the leader of the terrorists, who was basically in charge, or is in charge of the terrorists, was he sliced Dez's daughter, Lily Canoen, in half, which obviously ticked Dez off to the extreme. So now Dez is completely angry and charging at him. You can see his face. He is so ticked off. He is using this axe slash hammer thing and running at Cranul with it. He is actually quite close to Cranul. And Cranul is kind of backing up a little bit. All right, so now I will get to the bottom level. All right, so as you guys can see, this rock structure winds all the way around here, and I used a nice mixture of dark bluish gray slopes and dark tan slopes. I did a few snot techniques with the slopes, just like placed them like that with both dark tan and dark bluish gray. And I also added some of, of the, these appendages in reddish brown on the rock structures, which I thought was a nice addition. And you can see, I like doing this quite a bit. I had some of these Seleucomy stems hug up against the rock structure, as you see. And this winds all the way around here. And I haven't really showed you this angle. The rock structure up here is three bricks high and looks quite nice as well. But going back down here, you can see that over here is a base color of dark green. And there are lots of different colors in here. There's some green, olive green, black, dark blue, because those two colors, basically, in on Sereno, there is a chemical in the air that basically darkens some of the grass and texture of the planet, which I decided to make my own, and add black and dark blue to the train. So like I've said before, tell me what you think of things that I'm changing and keeping with the terrain. It would definitely be helpful to get your guys' opinion on that. So you can see there is a dead terrorist here. It is a weak way. He was shot most likely by either Toonfren Ligram, who is right over here, the black Mokhtan rebel, or Sergeant Rash, which is the new clone that they found. That is his name. He is a sergeant of the 501st. So you can see right over here we have more of this base color of dark green, and all of these different plants and patches of certain colors, like you can see this olive green patch runs right through here. There are lots of these stems, olive green and green stem grass here and there. There is some bamboo, like right here there's a dark bluish gray bamboo that I really like adding specifically to this mini mock series. And right over here we have another terrorist named Kletzer, who is running at Toonfront, who is also running at Klutzer, and he is quite set up. He has a nice weapon there and a very cool backpack with some kind of oxygen tank or something like that on his backpack, which looks quite cool. Right over here, which this is the kind of terrain that I'll be doing in the next episode, has a base color of dark tan. It still seems quite marshy, but it's kind of dry, and there's also, I really like doing this. In the corner, I have a little patch of dark brown, my favorite color in Lego, like I've said in many of my videos. And there is some, there's a nice three, three of these Seleucomy stems in this corner, and just a lot of cheese slopes all over the place. So I think that turned out quite nice. So here's another angle of Toonfren running in. I think this shot right here looks quite cool, especially this. There's a nice shadow of this tree that I'll go into in a little bit. That is, it's just very, very cool. So you can see Toonfron here. I kind of recently customized Toonfron a little bit more. He has medium dark flesh arms, which I think looks very cool, especially because there's some medium dark flesh lines and markings on the 
dark tan torso and legs, which is pretty cool. And you can see back here is another Mokton Rebel, which is a good guy. He is named Jeffen Greybotch, and he is currently kind of watching to make sure that he that the terrorist getting exploded into the air doesn't land on him, and he's notifying Toonfront and Sergeant Rash that the terrorist is falling. So now I will show you guys a nice angle over here, which was used recently on a picture on Instagram. There is this nice detail here with one by one dark tan plates as Toonfront is running in. And you can see Sergeant Rash right here on this nice patch of the wonderful color of dark brown. So yeah, now I will get into the tree and then let you guys go. All right guys, so as you can see this tree is using just dark green leaves and on the top you can see I use some of these dark green appendages which is what they are called and down here I use some seaweed pieces for kind of that moss feel hanging under the tree and I also used a slope to be able to put some more leaves down here to create this really low moss feel with they hang down very very low to the close to the ground and right here is the base of the tree. I thought it turned out okay. I like that I used snot to place these dark brown plates on the side to do a different kind of tree stem feel. You can see there's the base of the tree. So yeah, I hope you guys like this tree. I thought it turned out pretty nice. I especially like the other tree down over here in the other corner. Sorry, sorry for the out of focus there. So yeah, that's about it for this episode of the Sereno Mini Mock series. Now I will get to letting you guys go. All right, guys. So that's about it for this episode of the Sereno Mini Mock series. Stay tuned for episode four, which will come out next Wednesday at the same time, one o'clock. And yeah, just stay tuned for the rest of season three. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram for daily behind the scenes updates on all of my builds and such. So yeah, be sure to leave a like on the video to help me out and subscribe for some more awesome LEGO Star Wars content. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.